What y'all doing? Hi everybody, welcome back to my modern homestead. Oh my goodness, come join us and see what craziness we've gotten into now. What have we done? Make sure to stay until the end to see our newest addition. Okay, so I did a thing. The other day, well, a few weeks ago, I was looking at the price of chicken and the shortage of chicken. And I said, hey, we could get some meat chickens. So I was looking at the price of chicks online. And I found some for less than $2 per chick with free shipping. And <laughs> I thought Cowboy said, okay, let's get 50. Well, turns out he said 15. But by the time I found that out, I had already ordered 25. I knew I didn't want to deal with 50. I said, well, I'll do 25. And he nearly died when I told him I got 25. So we've been back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And he's been trying to decide what we were going to do to put the chickens in. So he finally made up his mind what he wanted to do. And after I made such a big boo-boo, I haven't opened my mouth. I said, whatever's easiest, cheapest, quickest. Whatever you want to do is fine with me. So, he's getting started on that. And I just thought I'd show y'all as we go along. And in the meantime, as we waited on chicks, this happened. Probably can't see it on camera, but it's raining. My guys have been out here working this evening. They're finishing up the chicken coop because our meat chickens are supposed to be here this week. They had everything finished except for the door and the tarp. My husband always likes to make his own latches. He'll work with it and work with it until he gets it just right the way he wants it. Millie girl. Millie girl. I added a lot of footage of the dogs because we just got them and the person we got them from, I promised her that they would be featured on the video. 
So Matt, I Matt. wanted her to see them happy Matt, Matt. and running and playing. So if you're watching, you know who you are, and this is just for you. Really? He's a really girl. Yeah. We've been working with the dogs to get them used to the other animals on the farm. Matt, Matt. Matt, leave it. Matt. Good boy. Good boy. Millie. Millie. Leave. Good girl. Hey, 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 hey. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Matt, leave. Uh, Millie, leave it. She's still trying to get used to the pigs. Hey, babies. Hey, babies. The chickens ignore the dogs, but the pigs aren't quite sure what to think Ooh. of them. Here the guys are just putting in a little bit of reinforcement for the wire at the bottom of the coop. What you doing? What you doing? <laughs> oh, what you got? I was... What you got? For what? That was fast. Thought I was going to catch y'all doing it. Please pardon my heavy and out of shape breathing. It didn't help that I was still recovering from being sick. What? They're squealing like pigs over there. The pigs? Yeah. <laughs> He's like, what is you? What is you doing? What are you doing? She's helping. Yeah. <laughs> good girl. She's good. She wants to help. I want to help. <laughs> he's trying not to get attached to me, but <laughs> what? Ever? No, he's not. <laughs> he, he, he's trying to act like he ain't. He ain't fan. He ain't fooling nobody. No, yeah, don't. Fooling nobody. He's one of them. Yeah, he's one of them. She, she, she's a. This one, she's a purebred German Shepherd. She ain't a mutt. She'll, she'll show you mutt. She is helping you, and you're talking bad about her. She's gonna bite you in your rear end when you go to sleep. The post office called and said, my package is here. Let's go see what it is. Chicks. Yeah, they are. Oh, look. They're supposed to be one day, but they grow really fast. 
I'm sure they're, <laughs> they're I'm sure they're hungry. All right, let's get them home and in their little coop. <laughs> you can see them peeking through. They were peeking through, biting at my finger. <laughs> All right, we've got them at home. And this is the little box we've built to put them in. I just spent $28 on a piece of OSB board and um, Home Depot just cut it down to four by four pieces. Uh, not four by four. They just halved it, whatever that came out to be. I can't even remember now. Two by four. Um, anyway, we have their feet in here. And there is no bottom. All I did was just set it on top of a tarp. My guys actually did this for me. I was going to build it, and to my surprise, they went out there and did it. I was actually going to make it three by four, but now it's four by four, which is perfectly okay. It just gives the chicks more room. All right, you wanna go ahead and open that. Hi. <laughs> is that the cutest thing or what? So let's just sit them down in here so they don't drop one on the floor of the garage. Let's take that out. All right, little babies. Now we're going to do our best to take the best care of them we can. Show them the water. We're going to love them for the next eight weeks, but we know their purpose. They're just meat chickens, so they will only live whoops, <laughs> for eight weeks. Because it's actually in, not good for them to let them go longer than that. Their little legs and hearts just aren't made for it. That one's already trying to get feathers, but they're supposed to be a day old. Look at that. These will get big really fast. Oh, they've already discovered their water. Jake, I think we're going to have to get something else for their feed. I don't think they can reach it. Oh, that one's getting up in there. <laughs> well, get out the water, you goonie. Who's chirping? My goodness. Now with our meat chickens, is that one right there on the end? We will let them free feed for a week. Get that one and put it over here with the food. This one? Yep. Just pick it up, baby. It's very gentle. got them all settled so this will be their home for at least a week if not two or three it's really hot here so we'll only use the light during the morning and night during the afternoon it will be plenty warm here that they won't need it as you can see they're not even under it now all they want is the water and food so I've been showing you us getting the big pan outside ready you did it kind of backwards, huh? This is where it will all begin. Thank you guys for joining me. I always love it when you come and spend a few minutes with me. Until we meet again, may you be blessed. Love you guys.